Hi, everybody. It's me. I just got done with Sterling and I wanted to do a quick update with y'all. <laughs> There's some couple of things I wanted to let you know. So um, I figured out the monies received from everybody. And um, it's about $700. Thank you, guys. So what I'm going to do is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six names thus far. Keep sending me more names. Food for Thought, Sonoma County, HIV, AIDS. Uh, they bring food to people in need. And during this COVID, they expanded it to heterosexual people, anybody stuck at home. They had lost all their volunteers because uh, the COVID restrictions for anyone over 65. So they got in a whole bunch more. And uh, so I'm sending money, dividing this money, sending part to them. I'm also sending to the first, to the Free Store Food Bank in Cincinnati, Channel One Regional Food Bank, Second Harvest in Medicine, Wisconsin, West Seattle Food Bank, and Gallatin Valley Food Bank, which I believe is Tennessee. So I have to sit down and go on each one and donate the monies. And thank you guys for the input. So I wanted you to know about that. And then we're going to be at noontime, we're going to be on um, with Dead Famous with Lilac Lantern and, um, and uh, Sterling with some people. I'll give you guys a little update, but you already know by then. Hold on. I wrote them down. Hold, give me the, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Uh, so Lilac is doing, or Andrina is doing, um, uh, George Burns, Rita Hayworth, John Candy, Buddy Holly. Sterling's going to do David Bowie, George Harrison, which I've read many times, George Harrison. He's, he's an easy read. Howard Hughes and Marie Curie. I'm gonna do Janis Joplin, Patrick Swayze, Selena and Karen Carpenter. So I don't even think about it till we start. So then I just pick up fresh, whatever it is I need to pick up. Okay, so um, thank you guys for all your wonderful input. And also to my friend Kabir Singh who uh, was on that They've got, you've got talent. I never watch those shows, but he was on, so I watched and he won. And even that guy liked him, the one from American Idol, Simon, I think is his name. So I was very happy for him because he just did a post that 11 people that wouldn't talk to him, clubs are now begging for him to work for them. <laughs> so he just the exposure is helping him out. Kabir was the one who took me in post breast cancer and I was doing sort of a, what do you call list? Um, sorry about that space here, but whatever. Um, I was doing a list post cancer of, you know, what, what bucket list. And I thought, well, I'll just, and I went to this little club and he was there and he met me. And I guess he saw potential because, you know, a lot of these kids in the clubs are young. And I thought, well, what about me? Could they possibly find funny? Well, as you guys know, I got that streak. So he took me, I, between him and another uh, friend he was working at the time, Sammy, um, I got to do uh, San Jose Improv, Tommy T's numerous times, the punchline, um, big time clubs. And it, then I went to Hollywood and did the, the Hollywood uh, one down there. Can't think of it. Where the Jesus used to walk around. I thought that was hysterical. The comedy store. Yeah. So it was great kind of being there with all that information. And, and I loved it and I had a great time. In fact, I wanted my mates from high school to see me. I've been posting, I'm gonna show here and there. And then when I started working on events for my high school, then all of a sudden they're interested. <laughs> so I said, well, come on down, I'll get a show together. I just asked Kabir, set it up, Tommy T's. So I was able to have my friends and it was a wonderful show. It was the last show I did. I'm not going to professionally be a comedian at all. Um, when you watch Kabir, it flows out of him. But my deal is here, you know, this is what I like and some of my humor is involved here. 
but I, I mean, I always like sitting out watching the other comedians. I didn't sit in the green room and, um, it really gets kind of, you know, and Kabir can tell you, you know, every man to himself. So, um, I just appreciate his absolute warmness and kindness. So please watch him when you can. Um, he really is funny. And also I wanted to say that uh, I got this uh, email, disturbing email from some woman saying, you know, I used to think you had a kind heart till I did that video, this last live video. And I had mentioned about Japan and now a sheriff had actually told me that they don't allow anyone to own land and that, you know, they, you have to switch out your cars after so many miles because they like a clean environment. I had nothing against the Japanese over that. I thought that was great, you know, looking out. And she said, you need to Google it. And, but she presented it like I was doing this to be cruel. I mean, a friend years ago in the 1980s said to this, and I believed him. So I did Google it. And I guess anyone can own land. You can buy land in Japan. That I didn't know. But uh, so I apologize for giving misinformation from a misinformation person that gave it to me. But then she went on to say, you know, um, I made some sort of comment about the Chinese or something. And you know, there's a lot of Asian hate going on, which I, I know, and it's totally irresponsible and horrible. And, um, but the whole attitude in it was like, basically I'm a horrible person because I said these things. And it's like, for real, you're calling me prejudice, you know? I mean, if you guys think that's the case, I probably would have got more than one uh, email. And also I'd like to point out, not that it means much, but I dated for two years a Chinese man who was a wonderful down to earth human being. And um, may I say his parents could never meet me because he was not allowed to date a Mexican Indian, 3% <laughs> African white woman. Um, he was not allowed to date Korean or is a Vietnamese, anything. So, you know, prejudice within even my mother, I told you was probably more prejudiced than my father. I mean, she always had something to say about some nation. So, um, even prejudice against other nations uh, of, of tribal nations. <laughs> so please do not think that I'm coming through, you know, on, I've, as you know, on several videos, I told you guys that um, what they did with taking land from the Japanese during the internment was horrible. And we all agree with that, you know, it, but that's the way America was thinking, just like with 9-11, oh boy, we're going to get rid of the Muslims. And this is a, and remember they, that's how they felt about Native Americans wasn't our land, it was their land. And by the way, here, sign this contract and we're faking it because we're just gonna turn around and take it back anyway. As I told you before, and this is why my mom was so angry, is that Native Americans were allocated lands, but guess who handles all the leases, all the monies concerning the lands? The United States Treasury. Natives are not supposed to handle their own, their own gig, their own thing. Okay, so, and there are lands that my mother bought on her own that she owns, but um, yeah. So anyway, I just want to bring that up because I need to apologize that I was wrong about Japanese um, lands. Um, and I, I, I'm going to relook at that video to see what I said that was so appalling to where this person thinks I thought I had a good heart, but has changed their mind. They used to really think I was something. And now I guess I'm wanting people to hate the Asians. It's like, what? And I even have a little Asian in me too, because, you know, all Native Americans come from an a Asian, but that is just so weird. And the most I've been prejudiced against with this color skin, because I was lucky I had the white because it offset the brown. And by lucky, I mean, I didn't get hit like my other family members did, was the fact that, um, was the fact that uh, my boyfriend who was Chinese, 
could never pursue it any other than just how we were doing it, very surface. We had a lot, we had some good times though. He was a wonderful guy. He still is, I'm sure, out there in the world somewhere. Okay, so I told you guys about what's, what's up. Now I wanted to hit you guys up with a couple of, thank you guys, I'm posting a lot on YouTube with whatever I have to say. Um, hold on, hold on, hold the bus, hold the bus. I just wanted to answer a couple of things. Now, um, oh, and then someone, two people complained on Joyce's. I showed up at Joyce's, uh, 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 Joyce's uh, YouTube, and I had run to get a special food for the dogs, which is all the way, 30 minutes away, 30 minutes back, which had been okay if I would had that 30 minutes time when I got back. But what happened is I got stuck in traffic, horrible. And I haven't been in this town long enough to know the back roads, but I tried to take a back road and that was backed up. So then I ended up with a headache and I hadn't eaten anything. And I start getting the shakes because I'm a diabetic. And so I literally made a sandwich and ran to the computer and probably a little bit off kilter. Probably should have canceled the whole thing and said, I, I can't, can't do it. But I wanted to come through what I said to her that I would do. And I guess people complain because I guess I was scattered and I was eating a sandwich. I mean, I ate a couple of bites. I didn't sit there with a sandwich and eat it. I just wanted to get something in me so I would stop shaking. And, uh, you know, it's a shame. It's a shame. So I'm going to do a makeup with her on July 14th. And she talked about it and posted in stuff. I guess some people said some negative stuff. So, you know, I'm pretty much getting done with collaborating with too many people because I don't want to have to go through that. And I'm getting kind of set where I'm getting too many. Some, some people are expecting me every month. Oh, and then I was supposed to do um, Sheila. And you guys, let me tell you about that. Sheila does steam yard and this is an untoward, nothing against Sheila at all, but I showed up. I was in the room. You could see me but they couldn't see me or they didn't acknowledge me or something. And then I typed, I'm here, you know, and I'm waiting and waiting. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and beg to get in. They were already, it was a couple of minutes before five that I logged in and they were already in intense conversation. That's probably why they didn't see me. And so they had started earlier. So, um, cause I thought, am I losing my mind? Did I screw up again? Cause I can't screw up too. So I, you know, I, um, people were writing me saying, they said that you got the times wrong. And it's like, you know what? They're saying that to try to cover me. And then I'm gonna tell you, I was there. And I even texted them in the steam yard to let them know I was waiting for them, but that didn't work out. So last week was a weird week, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna calm down on all these, these collaborations. I. I enjoyed, I think I'm going to work with Danny and uh, Sterling and uh, Danny uh, Bathrobe. I wanted to say wardrobe. I'm supposed to do one with him, but I'm going to calm down a little because I have, I think I have too many and I'm just trying to get things done. Oh, and I had my grandson here yesterday and he has an ear infection today. I feel horrible. His grandpa has a pool. So I think that's what, uh, what has been that's what's going on because he really he's crying he's in so much pain and I noticed yesterday he was kind of quiet he took a shower for me he did everything I said you know most kids fight about showers and stuff and he wasn't all that hungry and he just wasn't his happy-go-lucky self so um my daughter's going to get him into uh, a place to be looked at poor guy my son Je Jacob chronic in fact he had those two things put in his ear those that surgery which helped after that he never had another one but since he was born that poor kid had horrible and he'd be on fire his little cheeks would be red and i'd take him to the emergency room pediatric emergency and he had those little feetsy jammies and the minute i put him on the floor he'd go running just all over the place it's like I thought you said your kid was near death well he's yeah but they had a big aquarium 
in this particular uh, pediatric care. And it's like all those little rugrats with their hands up on the, on the glass. So you know, a lot of the stuff they caught was from there. So I wanted just to answer a couple of questions. Um, uh, Deborah had wrote four days ago and said, will our Native Americans ever get what they rightfully deserve in lands and compensation? And here's the deal, Deborah. Years ago, and I'll try to find, I, I know I saved it somewhere. The actual, when they write it out, what do you call it when they, you can order that? You, I don't think you can anymore, but you can order the actual words being said in a program. They did on 60 Minutes a, a thing about this. And I myself was at the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Oklahoma. And I will tell you that the way they treated our records is, I mean, I remember boxes sitting in the hallway, uh, 60 minutes showed the boxes with water damage. So basically our records are, we can't get our records. That's the bottom line. Some of us, yeah. Some of the, like my great, great grandfather and grandmother on the Dawes report. So the Dawes report done in the 1800s was the agreement with the tribes with uh, the United States of America where everybody was given an allotment number and an allotment number was your land. So um, I go off that allotment number. That's how I became a registered Comanche Indian besides me in court of blood. I'm registered via my great, great grandparents. So um, anyway, yeah. So that th they cannot get all the information. But as you know, Deborah Haling is working on some stuff that she has that they're actually giving back lands, but not everything. It's just not gonna be everything. Because even the judge in these cases where the tribes were suing, he's saying, what are you people doing? He knew the tribes deserve this compensation, but he couldn't get, they just, the government just, You know, and some of you guys, thank you for your input of what that bishop said about native children. That's why my mom hated the Catholic church so bad. We're going to get them to actually forget what it was like being a native. We're going to change them up nice and white, cut their hair, and to where they can't even go there. And then that was the purpose of the Catholic church coming in, handling, you know, the native schools and native hospitals. My grandmother died uh, in a native hospital in Lawton uh, run by white men. So, okay, now, Kimberly said, Putin doesn't seem nearly as cocky <laughs> in his press conference. Now I told you guys about this now, Sterling seems to think that they will come back and do something. I do feel another hit, but I'm not feeling it from Putin. That's my opinion. Or it happens and they're going to blame Putin, but he's like, what? I told you people not to do this. This is what I'm getting, okay? And um, he might even call Biden and say, look, dude, I swear to God, you know. Because I'll tell you, Biden's not messing. He will hit them hard, hit them hard. So, okay, my guys just said they will get hit hard too. So obviously something's going to happen, but I'm feeling like Putin, either that or Putin's acting like it wasn't me, you know, because he's kind of that person. So um, also I wanted to ask, tell you guys what the hit I got about this, um, this Catholic bishops, by the way, they showed them on the news today. Um, and nothing against white guys, because my father was white. And, and there's a lot of white men that are and women that are wonderful. And there's a lot of Catholics that are wonderful. My friend Dan that helps me with this show, salt of the earth, couldn't meet a nicer guy. His, him and his family, just true, good Catholics. They enjoy that whole Catholic thing. Me, not so much. I'm a Catholic church antiquity collector though. I've always had that thing towards those statues and stuff. So anyway, um, the bishops were all white men. 
And they were all sitting there writing on their little things. And they really think it's definitely partisan. It's about affecting Biden. And um, by the way, the Pope just announced that, yes, it is true. In fact, uh, there was nuns that were used by priests in, for slavery and sex, et cetera. So forced abortions, et cetera. So, I mean, it just keeps coming out. Remember what Christ says, he among you with no sin cast the first stone. So there you go. I just think it's just wonderful um, what's going to happen coming up. So I don't want you to worry about Biden. I don't want you to worry about him at all. And the Vatican feels like maybe some of them, but most of them feel like, you know, dudes, don't do this. We're going to get taxed. We're going to get taxed. Hold on. Let me ask. Are they actually going to get taxed? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be? Yeah, I just heard yes. The churches, all churches will be the ones that got involved with uh, politics. Yeah, separation of church and state, it's totally illegal. It's going to take several years to happen, but it will happen. Okay, so I want you to know that. So I don't want you to worry. Don't forget, we got to get out of that. All oh, those idiots, all oh, those, because it's only creating chaos within ourselves. Let the big, let the, the big wigs handle it. Yeah, Diana said, it seems like Republicans just continue to get away with horrible, despicable antics. Voter suppression to abortion, not supporting Capitol Police, trying to block subpoenas of Barr. So what do you want me to tell them? This too shall pass. That's what I always hear. Um, it's like they're grabbing at the last straw. It's like they're grabbing at the last. What can we do? But see, it's there are people that think that way, but there's more of us that don't. Like I told somebody here recently, watch what happens in Texas. These people are struggling. They can't even use their stove. Okay. So guess what's going to happen? They're voters. They're going to come in and say, we need a new team in here. They don't even want to allow Biden with that, that uh, new America thing, the new deal, which part of it is planning to help Texas. So you're going to piss some real good Texan people off. And it's like, it's like, no, we need this. We need this. And yeah, tax the rich. Tax her. They're so busy trying to hold on to that. Somebody just said, Marion just said, it'd be cool to hear Nixon's <laughs> view of Trump. But remember, Nixon is in a place where he can't be judgmental. It's not part, he's in spirit, he's in a spirit. He, he can't think as man, he's spirit now. Can you give us any input on Donald? He just said Donald's very sad. It's very sad, but it's a test of strength for America. And also it's sort of a, a new beginning because we thought this couldn't happen again. And yes, it did. And worse, a thousand fold. He is like the worst nightmare because he wanted to just, remember he would say, everybody, I'd like to know who everybody is. Everybody says I should be serving two more for the one I lost two more um, four year terms because for the one I lost because the, the witch hunt and because this and that, and it's just very delusional, but I see Putin was feeding him. I'm going to tell you, Putin was feeding him. And that guy from Turkey too, in Saudi Arabia. Also, I wanted to bring up, so Nixon is just saying, don't worry. And that also part of this is because this too shall pass. We will not lose our democracy, no. There will be no big insurrection. It, um, they could try, but guess what? We have planes and tanks and <laughs> no, no. But I do see underground bull would try and affect situations. So, um, and there's a lot of very hateful people out there. 
Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys something Joyce had said that I totally do not feel the same, but you know, she feels one way and I feel the other. And what was it? It had to do with Jared Kushner. She sees nothing happening to him. And I see a lot of things happening to him. And I see him before a judge. And I see more of a possibility of him going to jail than Trump. And remember, I often felt his wife would, would go against her dad. She would, in turn, open up the door to save her family. So I don't know if he'll actually go to jail, but I do see big events happening, big events. So they're all trying to act like they're gonna go on their own way. Pretty soon, they're not gonna have our secret service thing anymore that Americans are paying for. But yeah, I do not, I see Jared, and I've been saying this for years, Jared will have to pay the, he's not gonna get off scot-free, oh, life is good. No, that's not gonna happen. Um, I don't know about his wife staying with him, but I really don't care. It's like, you know, that's not for us to judge. They need to handle what's on their plate for the underhandedness that has happened. And also Trump having a whole bunch of money in the Cayman Islands while he was president. And I'm thinking, well, if he has all that money, why isn't he paying off debts like he owes El Paso over 500 Gs? Why isn't he paying off that debt is what I asked. And I heard them say, he has to be careful about touching it because the government will intercept it. <laughs> so yeah, on paper, it may look like he has something, but they're, the government's itching their hands. Can't wait to get in there. Um, I see, Carol, I see a lot of Afghan translators being able to come to the United States. I actually see Biden saying this has to be done. I see him telling Kamala, these people worked on behalf of the United States and we didn't need to make sure them and their families are okay. So maybe they won't announce it to America, but I see a lot of them coming to America. Rosanna said, where is Melania? Trump celebrated his 71st birthday and there was no signs of Melania or Ivanka, Jared or Eric. Melania is living her own life. She might even be in New York. She's someplace on the East Coast and I feel like she's private. Like it's very, you know, they're all settled in very privately. Um, She's talking to some legal person to see about divorcing Donald, to save her money, to save herself and some money because she's fearing they're gonna go in and wipe them out. Interesting. I just saw that, okay? Michelle wants to know, did Trump use the treasury funds or social security for his own benefit. He was looking into it. I even see him trying to use Social Security to help build that wall, take money out of Social Security. Um, did he use, he used that office to backroom deals, like all that drilling and stuff. He took a portion of that, but I'm not seeing him use Social Security. I'm not seeing that at all. No, and not treasury funds either. Will the US and the world see more lockdowns due to the new variant? Well, I do see lockdowns, but it's not like in the places that really got three quarters of the people vaccinated. It feels more like Arkansas and those kind of places. Oh, you guys, I posted on my, my community channel, this man that's running against Sarah Sanders, please watch it. He is a physicist and what a dynamic energy, a wonderful man, please check it out. Um, so, and you know, they will come up with either a nasal spray or a pill. I don't think we have to have another injection. I see that happening by the end of the year. Um,
Um, okay, so I so um, be sure to watch Sterling because he he answered a lot of these. Oh, that's interesting. You know, I don't read um, any of those uh, People Magazine Inquirer. So apparently Ben Affleck and Jen are together. Again, I was never uh, watching that when they were together, but they want to know if, and I think like it's a good positive, like there's a unrequited love situation with them, but I'm not seeing long-term, but I'm not seeing awful either. See, the thing is people are trying to say Biden is negative, you know, like, oh, he did this and he did that. Didn't help that Putin gave him accolades. Let me tell you that right now, that upset them. If Putin had said crap about our president, they'd been all over it. Isn't that terrible? Boy, by God, you don't talk negative about the United States, but we can talk negative about this guy. So this person wants to know, Okay, go ahead. Um, hold on. Why do they keep talking? This is going to slowly but surely go away because the outcry that happens in the midterms, it's going to be like that shock and awe that happened in before. Was that 2018? It's almost like they're going to go, whoa, obviously we have no say here. Um, will the media finally show the rising anti-Semitism in the U.S.? Oh, yesterday a Jewish Orthodox child was punched in the face. And same thing is happening with the Asian hate too. This woman was stabbed out here in San Francisco, just walking along, older woman. Of course, they're going to pick on the olders. Pick on somebody buff, somebody, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. We still have to deal with this a little bit. It's going to start calming down, down the road here. Um, I mean, we're all intermingled. We're all, it's like hurting, somebody is hurting your, your brother or sister because we're all, and the good news is there's a lot of intermarriage, you know. Like I said, the guy I was dating, Chinese, no way would his family accept me. But you'll see as the older people start going, you'll have more people being able to marry who they please. And somebody asked if Putin threatened Biden's family. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They threatened somebody like Lindsey Graham, but no. Uh Now, I'm feeling a hacking happening to us, but it doesn't feel like it's Russia. Maybe it's Iran or it is Russia and they're putting it off on a different nation. I just, I just wanted to tell you that. Somebody said, do you see any major related events in South America? I saw some good sized quakes. And there have been in Argentina some quakes. That we today we had nearly a 7.0 in New Zealand, which is near South America. But quakes are coming up now. Tomorrow's the 21st, and I'm not feeling California just yet. I'll let you know when I feel it. Um, happy Father's Day, everybody, though, and to my dad on the other side. Happy Father's Day, and to my brother-in-law whose life was cut too short. He used to do dad day with his children. It was really nice. Um, okay. Still asking about the lockdowns. Uh, you know, somebody, Helena, she said, is there any spiritual significance in pain and suffering? And remember what they said to me, in your suffering, you will see God. My mother suffered with rheumatoid arthritis all her life, since she was 12. And her bones were totally, you know, her hands were crooked, her jaw fell in, had to be broken and reset. She had to put a thing in her, because the ball that connects your neck to your spine 
was disintegrating. They said if a little jolt in the car, she, her head would fall off basically and kill her immediately. So she went through so many, even on her feet, her feet were crooked. It was hard to walk. And you know, that's what, where I get comfort because in her suffering, she will see God. She's, she's definitely had some issues <laughs> with that anger towards the white man, but she married a white man. But at the end, you know, she loved his kids. You knew that I could feel her love. And don't you guys worry. Um, there's going to be indictments. Okay, thank you. Somebody just said coming soon. Indictments are coming soon. And whose face did I just see? Rudy Giuliani. Roger Stone. Gates. Mark Meadows isn't going to get off either. But I see right away Rudy Giuliani and that other gal. Who's the gal? The Kraken, they call her. She's in big trouble. So yeah, keep watching uh, Glenn Kirshner. I love him. So listen, I'm going to get off because I'm going to start my uh, video with Sterling and Andrina at Lilac Lantern, and we should have fun. I I enjoy this. I enjoy this part. <laughs> and next time today it'll be on my show. Next time it'll be on Sterling's. We take we take turns. And to all my fellow psychics out there, thank you. I try to get on and give money and all that. So you guys got the list of who I'm giving to. Don't send me the same name, send me different names. And even with animal help too, okay? And then every time you guys, when I throw a live and you guys give that money, we'll start giving out. All right, cheers everyone. Take care, bye.